We have the Sankor Madarasha. And oh, wow, it is really good. Oof. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming, and this is Europa Universalis 4, a hotly requested game on my channel. Played it many years ago, grinded many thousands of hours, never quite got good enough to show my skills in a game. But today we're going to play completely blind as we play the new expansion pack, which is going to be the one about Africa, which adds flavor for religions. It adds mission trees for Africa. And, uh, oh wait, hang on, there's a list here. Uh, region trees, states, privileges, Judaism, adds models, ooh la la, adds new music for Africa. Africa. Unique Kawa unit for Ethiopia. Kawa? Hmm? So what we got? We got a little bit of Central Africa, East Africa, the Horn, and we've also got West Africa. West Africa is where we go. We're going to go for Mali. So Mali's got a mission tree, and it starts in a complete crisis. Everything's falling apart. Rebels left, right, and center. And your job is to put the pieces together and form a Mali strong power. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Now, this is a really cool playthrough because you are actually strong at the very start of the game. You've got lots of gold mines, lots of opportunities to expand. Will I be the king of West Africa or will I fall apart to the crises? Let us find out. Here we go. So we start as the cream nation uh, to cream the rest of West Africa to, well, I guess, Sunny. Oh, look at these gold. I love gold. Savannah and hills. Also, we can expand here to more Savannah. So we're not going to have a problem with money. All right, here we go. Mission tree. Missions. So down the right path is how we get rid of all the crises. What's the crisis, you say? Here we go. The decline of Mali. And it fires, well, immediately. And it means our trade stagnates. Our autonomy stagnates. And uh, stability is a problem. And you think that's bad? Well, no, no, no. It's going to get a lot worse. You get events left, right, and center for rebels appearing all over your country. It, it just gets worse. First of all, now we spend 20 minutes in the estates doing these. Isn't this fun, guys? Yay. So we want religious stay and we also want uh we we also want tolerate the faith yay we also want to grab the scissors oh yeah and the merchant guilds we want to grab the dove oh yeah this air eh, he's rubbish goodbye lose prestige oh we did that first because we gain extra prestige if we go for the estates which is this one then we declare oh wow patron of the arts this used to be an event now it's a uh privilege show your privilege merchant guild oh yeah Oh yeah, we also want to grant privilege to the board. The mini, that's right. Religious minorities. Do we respect them or disrespect them? We will find out in this video. Oh, we promote their nobles because the games is an extra leader. Will we use that? Probably not, but we'll see. And then we're also going to give the chair to the aristocrats. And we're also going to give uh, a guy in a red robe to the uh, also the aristocrats. Oh, wait, that wasn't the aristocrats. That was the hands. All right, in this state of Gabu, uh, we're going to invoke a edict. And uh, we are going to go encourage development, which surprisingly reduces the cost of development. Madness. And increase the tax there. Which, if I've done this correctly, means we can sell titles. Boom. Aha! And there, all these states now have 65% loyalty. That's very important. You're about to see why. You're about to see why it's very important. You'll see. You'll see. Trust me, I do know what I'm doing. It's just going to take time, okay? And many, many, many different clicks. Okay, also we'll make our leader a general. Ah, uh, he's okay. He's okay. He can run really fast. West African runners. Is that even a thing? And also we'll declare a rivalry of Jolof. And the final thing now we need to do is we need to hire a bunch of very skilled members of our cabinet. So we reduce inflation. Yes. We also increase trade. Yes. And we also, oh my God, these are all really rubbish. Oh, we'll go for increasing morale. So we're getting six here, five here, and six here. So we're going to promote this guy, which magically gives him more skill. That's right, guys. So when you get promoted at work, you instantly become more skilled just from the fact that someone's thrown money at you. Like real life. Mission has been fulfilled. A competent court. So now our country is getting 66 of all the magical points the the paper the dove and the scissors we magically gain more paper dove and scissors and uh it also gets rid of the decline of mali well partially anyway so now we won't get any pretenders no more pretenders oh well, what's this the guild the ooh la ma 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 and the amurmurs also have 60 percent loyalty meaning we get to do the next one which removes the decline of mali once again uh means we don't we're not going to get any more rebels i believe of one kind there's, there's several different levels and then we've got the final one to go for that also reduces the rebels and then, surprisingly, then we need to go on a bunch of conquests as well. So this one, we need to get 100% force limit. And uh, if anything I've learned is the first day of the game, you hire the free company. There we go, the free company. Boom, drop him down. And we'll start converting the boyos. 
Alrighty then. So we need to wait for the free company to spawn. And they're here. Mission complete. We have now Mansu to arms, which gives us those TBs and a justification against Jolof. Look at that. Ugh. Conquer the checkered areas. The decline of Mali. Oh no, it happened. And we got the option to gain prestige and legitimacy by building a great palace. Of all the times to build a great palace, it's after when our nation declares a national emergency. Monarchs say, eh? this is why monarchies don't work, guys. Anyway, declare war on Jolof, the isolated West African African nation. They're also allied with Kong. Fair enough. And we are going to conquer them and take all the land. Boom. Meanwhile, they occupy our land and we occupy their land. This is the classic base race. Starcraft much? Tolerance for heathens? Madness! Oh no. Mali peasants rise up in this territory. And it's actually in territory that the enemy's occupied. Yeah, you know what you can do with those peasants. And we have a new heir to the throne. A 452. That ain't too bad. I'm happy with that. We've occupied their capital. Oh, and they've taken our capital. Just the classic yoink both ways. Now, this situation, you probably think to yourself, oof, this things aren't looking too good, right? Oh, that's it. Fight the rebels. <laughs> Fight the rebels. Fight the rebels, boys. And also put a top on. Come on, guys. Running outside without a shirt on. Is that legal here? Ah, oh, maybe it is. Oh, trying to run away, you'll say. Stack and wipe and... Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh he's going to intercept us here. Madness. Madman. And another wipen. Wipen, he's gone. Oh, look at all the land they've occupied. Even our capital. Oh, another scandal in the court. Oh, yay. The smart thing to do would be now to be completely occupy the entirety of their nation. And they just managed to pull the rug under us. Mass desieging of Mali. Mercenaries sieging. Ah, this is the way. Okay, so we have chosen direction. We have chosen to stick with Islam. And uh, you have the choice to go down the more African fetishist route as well. Which rewards us with missions. Yay. So this retreat route is very interesting. Retreat into a direction where I actually don't know where I'm going. Continue the conversions. All right, victory. Oh, apart from Gabu, take Gabu back. Ding. Kong has been defeated. Godzilla is the winner. And also, we annex you. All of you. Take all your money. Oh, look at that cream. Cream of West Africa. So next thing I want to do now is look for trade goods and find one that will be a spicy location for our capital. Ivory would be great. So let's go for Gabu, actually. Gabu is the new capital. But rebels are nearby, so we can't do it. Okay, fair enough. Oh! The rebels decide to push in right at this opportunity, and I'm going to push into you too. I was low morale when I did that. That could have been a mistake. Gold rush. How very mally of me. And yoink. All right. Take care of the finances. Corruption is a problem. Get that down. Gabu is now the capital of Mali. And here, we can concentrate development. So you will lose four total development, but you will push two of it to your capital. Do you know what? I'm all about pushing development. You know, isn't it cool to play tall in your capital region? Isn't that fun? Just say yes. We are now subjugated. Jail off. Subjugated. Hmm. That's one way of putting it. Uh, we need to boost our stability. Oh my god, look at all those modifiers. Maybe giving all those privileges to the estates was a mistake. Okay, the waiting phase is over. I need that plus one stability. Yoink. Oh wow. We celebrate the success of the conquests of Mali. And then straight away, they're like, oh yeah, that that's a scandal, by the way. Cause! Conversions! In this case, development. Loads and loads of development. 20. What a great number. Embrace Senegambian. Embrace handling of the people. Now we need to appease the bam ma 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 people by giving 15 development and increasing their autonomy and 15 for the bar ba bars. And all of a sudden, they love us. We've gained, wow, actually we've gained loads of claims. All right, now we need to retake Timbuktu. Who are you allied with? Air and Songhai. Oh no, you seem to be in debt. And we've taken a loan. Let's sell some tiles. Oh, amazing. We yoinked the money from the estates. And then straight away, autonomy. Uh, uh. And then we paid out the loans. That's what I was going to say. Timbuk2, adventure. Off we go. Aha, progress. While they're sieging this, you know what? Just, I'll let you do your thing. No one wants to work. Relatable. Many mercenary companies later, uh, we're here. Auto siege me, daddy. Go. With the power of supercomputer AI, we managed to have our army automate magically. Auto magically. Boom. All right, we're going to do this. The ultimate snake. Now, nah, I know this is not optimal, but whatever. I'm going to get my mission done and I'm going to be a happy bunny. Call me up, daddy. It's time for ultimate autonomy. Uh, be real. I actually need the money and the manpower. Actually, I need everything. Oh, another scandal for a change. King is dead. 
we now have a queen. Next mission objective is to retake this region here, which has been annexed by one of the neighbors. But there's a speed bump in the way. This blue boyo, uh, you're next. I just recruited a general and he's like, wow, you are really good. I was thinking, how high is my army tradition? 35. Did I just get really lucky there? I think I did. There we go. Timbuktu has been called. Mission, retake Timbuktu. This gains us plus one stability. Well, good job. I stabbed up to two because now we're at three. Stable, crisis, ridden, Mali. Move the capital to Timbuktu. No! Gabu. Access to the sea is the capital. Gabu. A helping hand reduces the cost of upgrading monuments. Do we have any monuments? Great projects. No, we don't. Oh, actually, no, we have one in Timbuktu. Okay. We have a Sankor Madarasha. And, oh, wow. It is really good. I've always been on the fence with monuments. Some of them just feel like not worth your investment, but oof. Wow, that's really good. Regrets. I should have gone with the guy. Oh, well. Oh, the rebels. Kong rebels, Senegali rebels, and rebels fighting rebels. There are so many rebels that they're even infighting. I mean, just guys, just waiting for you guys to settle your differences, you know? And then I'll take over. Rebels take a breath, and I'm like... Oh, yeah. Conquest. The house of Assam! No, we have a new king. He's fertile. Okay, desperately need money. Sell titles. Uh, summit, the diet. What will it be today? Will it be keto? Will it be intermediate fasting? Or will it be low calorie? Yay. I would like 100 relations. Yeah, why not? Conquest of Dijin. The Great Mosque of Dijin happens. This changes the development of the Great Monument to level 2. Great Monument? Oh, right, okay. So it just auto boosts it to level 2. I'll admit, though, the bonuses you get from this aren't that great. Free Monument with rubbish bonuses. Eh, I'll take it. Whatever. We now have two missionaries. Mass conversion. Here we go. Okay, getting out of here is a bit of a problem. Uh, there seems to be a traffic jam in the middle of West Africa. Can we can we leave now, please? Thank you. Mercenaries at the moment seems to be our bread and butter. Another free company. The difference between converting between one missionary and two missionaries is just oh, such a big deal. Progress. Pro tip. Uh, don't go for vassals. When you have the crisis, no one wants to be loyal to you. Uh, like real life. Ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. So optimal gold production, and we have a lot of gold, is precisely about 10. And right now, oh man, we need so much gold. So much. So uh, yeah, fill your boots, lads. At last, green income. Eight left. Keep going. Can we hire someone to deal with our inflation situation? Aha, he's the man for the job. No one wants to work. Yeah, I'm not going to click that yet. I'm going to have to click it anyway. Loans and corruption. Whoever thought this was going to be the Mali playthrough, right? Hmm? Right? All right, big green boy to our east. We need all these northern states. So so who are you allied with? Ah, nobody. Let's do this. And the first instinct is to go for my vassal. Do you know what? I'm actually totally okay with that. One, two. Who's next? Oh, a big boy. Eleven. Going for Timbuk two as well. Six shot boy -o. Can he handle this? Probably going to arrive late, therefore not get the wipe. No, but we won. Eh. Why does no one want to work? Why does no one want to fight? Oh, well, anyway. Oh, wow. We can take a lot of land here. I think we can pretty much annex them. Okay. Half the country and a load of money. Oh, yeah. Reintegrate. Songhai. Uh, stability. Yeah. So this reduces rebels once again. We accept Songhai as a culture and they don't have years of separatism. We are looking incredibly meaty right now. Very happy. Very proud. Indulgence. Ludi, can you stop spending so much money on food? Huh? Stop being so indulgent. Huh? Ludi, come on. Come on. So the easiest way to gain in development is to go into the build macro builder and find the cheapest areas to develop. And then we just thoroughly just spam that, right? Seize the land. And then uh, immediately after you seize it, then you sell it straight back to them and then pay their debts. Okay, we're at 341. We are making progress. And after spamming a bunch more dev, yes, we did it. We gain uh, permanent claims, prestige. We are now an empire, whichever that, whatever that means. And we have three stability. And beautifully, oh my God, we can restore the Mali authority, which removes the decline of Mali disaster. Put my hands in the air and celebrate the end of rebels. Oh, who am I joking? There's not going to be the end of the rebels. There's going to be more rebels. Boom. The golden age is here. Return of the former glory for Mali. A new dawn for Mali has come. Plus one stability. We're at three stability. Is this going to bug? No, we just don't gain anything. Yay. The deal is, though, Mali ambitions do not end here. We need a glorious fleet. A navy to be proud of. Loans. Level two. Upgrade. Center of trade. And ten light ships. 
Build them. The diet says you should stop eating ice cream and also to build the trade in uh, the trade node, which is exactly what we're going to do next anyway. So good. Our first light ship, El Ludi, a fine, fine vessel. Protect trade in Africa. The final two. Then we're done. No more converting. At long last. I bless the rains down in Africa. Uh, but not today. Create a trade fleet, which gains production in Gabu. All right, we've got our first ideas. And to embrace the missions of Mali, we need to become explorers once again. Maybe true, maybe false, maybe legend. But there was a Mali fleet that was lost as it went west of Africa. Where did that fleet go? Did it reach the new world? Did it get lost at sea? We need to find out what happened to the lost Mali fleet. Let's recruit a quest for the new world. The mystery of Ko Manabi. What happened to the fleet? What happened? Let's find out. And we get an explorer and 5,000 sailors. Damn. Here we go. Off we go to boldly go where no Malis have gone before to explore uh, the West African coastline. Nothing found. Further westward. West African sea coast. Once again, no joy. Again, search the South Atlantic. <gasps> and the final state to be converted. Oh, Hamdillah. Muslim West Africa convert in Mali, which gains us tolerance of the truth phase and the aristocrats love us. Why not? Many seas we have explored. Many uncharted oceans have been discovered. Many islands that could be colonized one day. The search for the lost fleet has been discovered. Unbelievable news reached the great Mansa. The exploration fleet has been successful and indeed found something. It is beyond something that Mali could have imagined. A team of explorers found a new uncharted land beyond the West African Sea. After further investigation, it is revealed it is not some island, but a huge continent. <gasps> Shock! We were looking for some rotten wood and found diamonds. Oh, well, wow. So I guess this is a, a free colony? It jolly well is. Who doesn't like freebies, right? Um, and uh, meanwhile at home, oh yeah. We need to fund these endeavors to the new world, guys. And um, you guys aren't really paying your taxes. Yeah, local autonomy, local governments, councils, local elections. Yeah, that's going to be put on hold for a while. All money comes centralized to me. 99% legalism. Ludi is not a man of God. He is a man of the state. State taxes, more like. Okay, never mind exploring the sea. Time to explore the land. Corquistadors of Mali. That's a thing. What is now, anyway? <gasps> this land is occupied by nature. Natives. Everyone in Britain got in a big old boat and we set sail and we robbed, and this will sound far fetched, everyone in the world! <laughs> Mali was the first to discover the Americans. The worst timeline. Uh, meanwhile, oh yeah, a little bit more of uh, conquest West Africa. Wow, I never knew that! If the nation disbands completely, they become rebels? Wow, I never knew that! Learning new things. We have a decision here to expand our colony by losing two manpower in Gabu. Yeah, sure. I love a flavor events like this. What did that colonize? Oh, it's colonized! here. West Africa meets North Africa, beats potentially the rest of the world. Ecoquistador. Oh, he's got maneuver. That's good. And uh, hunt for the new world. Seven cities. That jazz. E Yoink. The agenda is complete. Yay. The burgers are happy because we got control of the African trade node. To be honest, we only really got control of it because we completely destroyed the Benins. Hang on a second. That's how you control the world's trade through war. It all makes sense now. All right, mop this mess up. Yoink. We can now propagate the Ivory Coast with Muslims. Everyone become Muslim. Timbuktu, this would be a nice addition to my empire, wouldn't it? How much is this going to cost? A thousand. Yeah, why not? Remember, I am the king of Mali. I have access to most of the world's gold. I don't even know if that's even true. I may have just made that up. Regardless, I'm building a really big pyramid with my name on it. Yes. Conversion from a super OP religious Muslim trade power through trade node conversion amazing i just imagine in my mind him like oh he, do you want some grain oh yeah no worries i have some grain for some sugar no problem all. have you heard about our lord and savior allah no please go on boom province converted control the river that's right big river mine a golden discovery this is so all related. Gold, Mali, gold in the new world, gold everywhere. We have discovered Kibola, which it was only two provinces away from my home base and from the Portuguese. Well, it's raining gold for the rest of the game. I guess we have to colonize that one then, I guess. Look at all that development. Oof, loans paid, monument. Oh, it's on its way. Wow, they take a long time to build. Throw 250 gold at this to save three years. And again, and again. And it's built! Oh! Actually, the first bonus isn't that great. Spread of institutions. The second one gets really, really good. Uh... 
Oh, and it costs so much. 2,500. Okay. All right. Fair enough. You twisted my arm. Fair enough. If this isn't a role play of Mali, I don't know what is. 63 tradition. The vast majority of that is killing natives and stomping rebels. And it leads to this guy. <laughs> uh, damn. I love the five maneuver. That is very good for running around the country, I guess. Okay. Need to control the trade node here in Timbuktu. And Morocco is yoinking a lot of my uh, trade power. Not happy about that. The native South Americans seem to be more appropriately dressed than the technologically advanced West Mali colonialists. Shoes and shirts. That would have been a start. Come on, Mali. I need some uh, renaissance in my life. Just a little bit. Never mind renaissance. Colonialism. The birth of colonialism was... Oh, here. We did it. Yay. Madness. Mali. Colonial ambitions. All right. Need some more renaissance. Give me the renaissance. With great wealth comes great responsibility. Requires 25 development. All right. We're going to get there. All right. Money points. 25. Boom. Give me a... Only a thousand gold. Do you know what gold? It's just a number, right? It's just a number. World Trade Center. And we'll plow manpower into this to get it done quicker. Ludi has perished. We have a new Luda. Muhammad Ali, the greatest. Our standstone pyramid is now on level two. It'd be kind of nice if the image changed every time you leveled it up, but you don't. Level three is oh so good. Minus 10 tech cost. Oh, that's the one. Uh, meanwhile, Renaissance. Can we get it, please? Oh my God, one more tick. Boom! The Renaissance has just magically appeared from investing in public services. Voila. Let's make a friend. England. King Thomas the First Tudor. Improve relations. England and Africa. Friendship. What could go wrong? Right. You know what I also feel? Oh, God damn. I love loans and embrace institutions. Anyway, more loans. Inflation down. Invest in the people of Mali. Oh my God, we're giving jobs to everyone, guys. Ah, oh, we do bless the rains down in Africa. Excellent. Alliance. With Mallorca. Okay, the thing with England didn't work out. So we're going to have to go for uh, someone who's a lot smaller that would love our relationship in this case. Mallorca is now our summer holiday hotspot. Request to share maps of Arabia. Okay, we need North Africa. Horn of Africa? No. There we go. Boom. Request to share maps of... North Atlantic. We are burning so much prestige doing this. We got what we wanted now. We can now see Morocco and we need to control this trade node. And for some reason, they've got like 36%. Even though there aren't any provinces that are in this trade node, I, 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 I don't even understand. Anyway, regardless, build trade network. Ah, Morocco, my new rival. Embargo, send a scornful insult. Boom. Oh, damn, they've got a big army, 34. Okay, I think we need to make a secondary army here because otherwise they're going to dumpster us. I guess we could just use mercs to fill the bat line. Yeah, I think actually we'll do that, actually. We're going to spam mercs as uh, reinforcements. All right, let's not mess around. Morocco. I'm going to bring in Mallorca in. Why not? So, us versus North Africa. Hire a mercenary. Hire some mercs. We're going to engage here. Their general is significantly better than ours. We need to roll a few better generals. One, two, three. Uh, the four shot guy will be okay, I guess. All right. First battle won. Heavy losses are end, though. All right. Shock. Oh, he's got one siege too. That's good. And uh, yeah, push further on. Second major battle. Is this just cavalry? Ooh, majority cavalry. Engage another straggler. Oh, Tunis. What were you thinking? AI's like, oh, well, yeah, you're staging my country down, but you know what you've done here? Oh, yeah, you've left an open goal. Oh, oh, dear. Catch up to the stragglers. Oh, no, leaving horses behind. Not good. Fezan wants to peace out. Can I have some gold? Yeah, all the gold. Bye. Don't mind me. Just, uh, just sieging. Mind me. Where do you think you're going, sir? Huh? 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 Die in the desert. Round two. Tunis. Get out of here. Artillery barrage. Ludi the second has been crowned and he's ah, he's so awful. So awful. Now, throw a history. You don't have to be intelligent. You don't have to be smart. You just have to win. Okay. History will remember the winners. Even if you maybe are a little bit slow. More mercenaries. Lazy man's sieging. Do it for me, AI. Ah! So that's why Morocco has so much trade power. They have caravan power from this great project. 20% caravan power. I guess that's what we've got to take next. Nice. I'll take that. Connection to Maghreb. Done. Boost relations with Morocco, Tunis, and Fazan. Invest money to make them happy. You know, I I'm an independent girl, okay? I can do this by myself. Expand the navy. 
All of it. There you go. All right, finally. We managed to get enough power in this trade node. He's 85%, which is so incredibly high. Uh, anyway, regardless, protected the West African trade. We are literally dominating West African trade. Reach Europe. Have 10% trade power in some part of Europe. In this case, we'll go for Straits of Gibraltar. Send the guy from Timbuktu. Massive trade fleet. Protect trade in... Can we go to Gibraltar? Excellent. Yep. Looks like it's enough. Reached Europe. We have well and truly put our foot on the new world. America. Fuck yeah. Co Mamadi's ambition. 800 gold, plus one colonist. Settler chance plus 10%. Lots and lots of money. How many colonists have we got now? Plus four colonists? Just a few colonists, guys. Just a few, you know. Not that many. Not too many. Don't want to go overboard, you know. Seeing as I need tech, why don't we upgrade this one again? How much? 5k. Oh my goodness. 5k and embrace institution. Oh, damn. I love loans. I love them. And then throw all my manpower at it and the rest of my money. That didn't even hit the sides. Oh, what a waste. Timbuk2 needs uh, an investment of manpower. Boom, level three. Monument in Timbuk2. The construction of our monument in Timbuk2 has been finally completed. People from all over the nation gather before its imposing figure like curious children. Astounded by its marvel, they rejoice to belonging to Mali. A day to celebrate. I'm already 100 prestige. Oh, well, I guess we can stab up. Yeah, twice. Why not? Minor conflict in Brazil. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, we'll send a colonist. Colonists will arrive in 20. 4,000 days. Huh. I want to hoover up all these Portuguese colonies, so I need them to declare war on Portuguese Brazil. The only one I can ask them to declare war on is me. I'm asking my colony to declare war on me. What? Right, my truce has expired with the Portuguese. Time to hoover up these colonies, because uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but oof, I got a lot of claims. Yeah, I think I got those through the missions. Anyway, off we go. Boom. And finally! Diplomatic Tech 14 has finally arrived. And that's important because you need that to finish the Mali focus tree. We're almost there. Got him. Replay of the 100 Years War, pretty much. Right, Gabu, gonna build ourselves a trade station. Boom. Okay, pro tip. It didn't ask for just one trade station, which I built in Gabu. It wanted one in each of the state. I didn't realize that. I just had to wait another five years to build another two. Yay. Boom. Yay, the mission. Gold and ivory gives us high quality ivory event. Molly has always been known for its riches through gold. But now we have made ourselves a name in ivory trade and the production as well. We export the finest ivory and the European and Asian markets experiencing the hype for our goods gain 400 gold and price of ivory increases by 33 percent 20 years that is okay i guess high quality mali ivory so our ivory costs more than anyone else's that has resulted in whoa that was a jump of like eight ducats per month Woo! damn next up show generosity by sending a gift to the ottoman and uh the mamluks so the owner of Ankara, if I send them a gift, I don't know how much of a gift I have to send them. Yep, then send a gift to the Mamluks. It doesn't actually say how much the gift has to be. But what if I send them a gift of the smallest amount possible? 25. <laughs> and that is enough. Oh, well, improved relations for 25 years. Wow. Pilgrimage to the Great Mosque or to the Counting House. No European country has more development than Mali. And I think we're really, really, really close to... Oh, wait, hang on. No, we're not. It's about 200. Oh, I guess we're going to spend the next 10 years just spamming development then. Who likes development? Well, Mali loves development. The final two missions. Prepare the pilgrimage. Have less than one loan and have a level three diplomatic and military advisor. Easy. Level three, level three need to have no loans. Two loans left. And I think we peaked at 30 loans, guys. So we've come a long way. Okay, the base, the currency. Use our religious shenanigans to drop the corruption down to get a free loan. One loan left. Final loan. Boom. The mission is complete. Prepare the pilgrimage. Now this one has a lot of requirements, but luckily I fulfilled most of these without him realizing. Boom. A pilgrimage route. Many of the Mansas have traveled to Mecca in the past. Each time the Mansas took the classic way through Egypt and spent time in the Arab world. World. While it is the safest and fastest way, it is not the most exciting route. It will be like any other pilgrimage. But the court come up with a new idea, a grand tour to Mecca through the Christian world to see the wonders of Europe. Ooh, I'm looking forward to seeing Europe. Chance for new air, minus 200%. Interesting. I think a pilgrimage of this scale should be done by my advisors instead. Okay. I prefer the classic route. Now, this is kind of strange because the bonus of this is reducing technology costs when I am the most technological nation in the world. So we're about to give out the biggest cash prizes in all of human history. Let's go on a money giveaway tour of Europe. Let's go.
the Great Pilgrimage. Over five years ago, the Great Mansa started his pilgrimage to Mecca. However, the bold decision was made that the route should go through Europe instead of taking the fastest way, allowing the Great Mansa to see and witness things he would never have seen. After such a long time, the Sultan has finally returned to Gabu to gain tolerance of the true faith and yearly legitimacy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I felt like I spent a lot of money on that and I didn't get anything from it. <laughs> It was a great story, though. Ah, crap. I think I got confused by the mission. So it says you need to have more European total development than Mali. But I do have the most development. But half of that is coming from my subject nation. So looks like we have to conquer a little bit. Morocco, I got some bad news for you. Conquest. Made a push into Tunis. Made a push into Morocco. Taken some land. And the missions popped up. So it was right. It's the total development you own. Uh, ignoring subjects development, which you get half of it. And you get the bonus of 10% morale and 10 percent navies minus one percent prestige decay for the end of the game the fact this end of the game makes it pretty sweet but some of those bonuses are underwhelming wow i bet you've never seen this before an eu4 campaign have you someone playing beyond the year 1500 someone playing and completing all the missions I bet you've never seen this before right and uh yeah i well and truly have completely fudged my economy from giving out too many uh gifts regardless ah uh, <laughs> oh, we are bankrupt! These edited videos require a lot of time and money to produce. If you want to help me out, the link to Patreon is below. I love you. Thank you.